everyone, Cornelius Crawford here with Crawford Customs LLC and welcome to our latest project in Chatham, New Jersey. We are in Robert Drive and you are about to enter our latest 6,800 square foot, approximately six bedrooms, six and a half baths. I'm excited to show you the inside. Please follow me in here for a quick tour. Let's start everything off in the foyer. We have this gorgeous two-story volume space with a three-piece crown dental in the middle, and a polished nickel chandelier. But we didn't want to stop just there. We wanted to actually have the trim molding go halfway up, bring a little bit more sophistication into this room, and also take the hardwood and lay it on a herringbone design. This is an open concept, so we can either go to the living room on the right-hand side, but let's set it off and go right into the dining room. Dining rooms can be a little bit dry, so we did more of a double-decker trim, so to speak, recess paneling that you have in here. It lines up with the window panes. We have three windows that come across here, a little bit higher, so you have privacy while you're eating. We added this polished nickel chandelier, which complements the same chandelier that we have in the foyer, and we took the hardwood and laid it on a 45, surrounding it with a walnut border. This is our expanded version of the home. So on the left side, we have a combination of everything. A guest suite, which is in the far back, a bathroom that's in the guest suite as well, a powder room, which is adjacent to me here, and the mud room, which is gonna be the main entrance for the homeowners. It also leads you to the exterior. On the left side of the house, we will call this the adult section. We have a beautiful two-tiered retaining wall and a paver patio, perfect for entertaining with additional yard space above. On the right side, we have another fenced-in section of the yard for more privacy or just an area that the kids can play. Coming off the right side of the foyer, we're in the heart and soul of the home. In this living room alone, you can see how the trim wraps around on the first floor. It goes all the way through the entire home. All the outlets stay low in the baseboard. Crown molding that's up top flows throughout. You have some areas where you have columns that kind of dress up and give it a little bit more flavor inside these rooms, but you get more of a warm and inviting feel, especially when you come and see this fireplace. Gas fireplace, stone surrounding the fireplace, an eight foot blue stone hearth that's in here as well. And we have a TV up here because we actually created more of a smart home here. We'll talk more about more of that in a minute, but let's just kind of come right into this kitchen area. The breakfast nook off of the kitchen, which is beautiful. You have this beautiful chandelier. Once you have your table and chairs here, it's gonna really make this room pop. This kitchen is breathtaking from the white Carrera marble that wraps around the perimeter to the cracked subway tile that's for the backsplash, the polished nickel pot filler that we have over our eight burner Viking range the hidden hood that we have behind here as well, and the difference between the thickness from a six centimeter white marble on this island that wraps around with posts just to give it a little more character and warmth to the beautiful lighting that we have above here. It's just really stunning. It, it really kind of makes this whole entire first floor complete, but we didn't want to just stop with the white inset cabinets here. We also used a brushed linen application with a two-tone gray cabinet on the opposite side. Next to it, a 48 inch Viking. And from that Viking, we have an area where we have our desk, so to speak, a different level in counter space. But from here, this is kind of the brains of the house. So for the smart home package, this is really the central hub of the home. Of course, it's gonna be right into your kitchen. The great part about this is that you can use so many different features. We can actually control the shades, the television, your music if you wanna be able to have and download your favorite tunes here, and also your security. You could put cameras in the front of your home, cameras in the back of your home. You wanna see who's outside, you wanna see who's on the side. Control that directly from here and also see what's going on right from your phone. So now we are on the second floor. Up here we have four bedrooms and three baths. Behind me is the laundry room. We use a black marble on the floor and a black leather countertop with white cabinets underneath. In the far back, we have a Jack and Jill that's separated between the main bath. Each bedroom has its own walk-in closet. In the Jack and Jill bathroom, we have white marble on the floor and we also have more of a textured tile in the bathroom because it's playful, it's a Jack and Jill. We want it to be a little bit more warm. On the far right side of the home is our princess suite. The princess suite has its own walk-in closet, also with a bathroom in there as well, a stand-up shower, and a beautiful white tile that's in there. And from there, we gotta lead right into the master bedroom.
You know we couldn't leave you hanging without coming into the master bathroom. As soon as you walk in, you have your two sinks, you have your 10 foot by four foot shower behind me, and in this shower you have a rain head, shower head, your adjustable shower, which is off of the seat over here, and the two spa features that's on that front wall, all glass encased. You have a standalone tub, which is kind of like that centerpiece that comes right over these two windows, a linen tower for all of your storage goods, and also a makeup bar, which has plenty of additional lighting for you to be able to do all of your extra things in there with a separate toilet room and a closet. We're gonna go from here and hop right into the attic. In the attic, we have a loft space, and we also have a bedroom, and it also has an additional bathroom up there for guests and storage that's completely over the master bedroom. Last but not least, we enter your basement. In the basement, we love to do these 10 foot ceilings. So if the ductwork or anything comes down, we have plenty of space to come and just drop the areas where we need to go. We put plenty of recessed lights throughout and we also open it up with daylight with these windows that are wrapped in stone to make it feel like you're part of the first floor or second floor. Not that you're really in a basement. In the far back room, it's a media room, but it can also be used as a bedroom. In the middle over here, we have our bathroom. And to the very front, we have another rec room that can also be used as a wine room as well. This wraps up our tour. My name is Cornelius Crawford with Crawford Customs LLC. Thank you so much for viewing this video link. We look forward to seeing you on our next property. Speak to you soon.